Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl by your lap party heaven. I am so excited about today's video, guys. We are creating a Christmas balloon tree, and that is my tree I've just showed you. We're gonna be jazzing it up with balloons, you know, like we've been seeing on Instagram and all social media the trees for this year has just been wow and i said i had to make mine so i used bell bell balloons for this one double stuff so the three colors i used and all how i used them you would find it in description below so what i did was i used a couple of whites i used the um, almond from bell bell i used um like rose pink from bell bell and i double stuffed some of the rose pink with the almond i put some of the almond in white and i put some of the pink in pearl white some of the almond in pearl white um so that's how i got all the colors i used they were just three colors that i put into one another to create the you know the the tree so here you would see that i am inflating the balloons i am doing like clusters of three i'm doing clusters of four random sizes there's no um, um size idea on this there's no sizing info on this i just inflated them into random sizes and i tied them into clusters i also did some five inches that i double stuffed same colors same way i did the 11 inches so i only used 11 inches balloon and five inches balloon for this christmas tree um some i double stuffed the um almond into another almond to get this coffee like hot chocolate kind of like color and then i put the um the rose pink into the almond too so i just played with the colors and i love the outcome of the colors i got for this christmas tree if you're wondering how long this christmas tree is going to last i would not be able to say now i'm going to wait because that's going to be our christmas tree my kids finally approved of this one and we're going to be having it for christmas um so yes i'll let you guys know how we lasted in the new year um so please remember before i go on if i talk too much guys subscribe if you've not subscribed to my channel please 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 subscribe click the subscription button click the notification button comment like this video please let this video go viral please 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 share 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 let it go viral do not let it just be a 2k view kind of video because i worked really hard on this one so guys please and try and watch the ads too thank you guys so back to instructions i am still inflating my balloons here you can see i'm just inflating them into random sizes some are small some are big um the really big ones the plan is to use it for the bottom of the tree because you can see the tree the bottom part of the tree is kind of like extended so the plan was to like fill it out with balloons and then walk my way upwards so i just inflated you know in random sizes just the way you would do an organic garland i also did some in four clusters The sum of the pink I put in the pearl white, so that's the that's where the pearly kind of color came from. I also did not count the amount of balloons I used for this. Um, all I know remember is I had a hundred a bag of hundred of the rose pink. I have a I had a bag of hundred of the almond in 11 inches and 5 inches then i had the white ones i didn't have up to 100 i think i had like maybe like 60 or 70 or thereabouts so yeah um and i didn't use up all the ones i double stuffed in the almond and i didn't use up all the pinks too so yeah
So another thing I did was with the um, the light pink ones because I I double stuffed some pink into normal white colored balloons. I broke one balloon into two and I left one as whole. Then I broke like the old two into four. Yeah, just to create a different kind of look. You know, just random sizes. Remember, the really big cluster is going to be for the bottom. The smaller clusters is going to be what I would use to work my way upwards. So now it's time to start adding the clusters to the base. So what I did was I took a 260Q and I wrapped the first cluster onto the base of the tree using the 260Q. Actually, I used 160Qs for this instead of 260, but you could use 260, you could use 350. Um, it was the 160 I had available, so that was what I used. So I just wrapped it around the base and then I wrapped another 260Q. You see, I wrapped it round. So each time I wrap the um, the 260 round the, the base, I bring it back to the front again. So I, do, I don't just leave it hanging. So this is for the base. I only used the 260, 160Q for the base. I didn't use it in the upper section of the tree. And as you're wrapping it round, make sure you're pulling out the leaves of the tree. So because you want that bit to show in your design, you don't want all the balloons to cover that up because that gives it that, you know, that chic kind of look, that extra elegance. Yeah. So make sure as you're wrapping your balloons round the tree, you bring out the leaves of the tree or you, you wrap the leaves of the tree round your cluster as you can see that's what I'm trying to do here so you see I brought the leaf to the front in this bit Then you can see this bit, what I did was I tied two different clusters to a 260Q and I just wrapped it round. Easy. The main idea behind this is the fact that you, your sizing, you need to make sure it's not too big, it's not too small so that it could fit in. At this point, I had not even figured out what I was doing, to be honest. I was worrying, oh, is this going to look right? Because... I'm filming and I can't see what I'm doing. This is the first time I'm doing this style of tree. It's not like I had the practice run or anything. You know how I work. A lot of times, most of the designs I do is not because I've, I, I do it not because I've tried it out before. I, I just go for it once and I end up liking what I see at the end of it. So my main aim here is just to make the bottom parts, you know, wide and bulky, you know, using all the big balloons I inflated and making sure I push the leaves into the, um, the balloon so that it's not covered. So same thing here, I've wrapped the, the balloons around the 260 once again. And I'm just wrapping it around the tree. Push your leaves in. So I know that 260 key. Wrap it around another cluster. 
take another coaster then wrap it round so like this is like a really fast way to get your balloons round the tree and i think it's easier because um if you're not careful you could prick your balloons you know a tree is prickly isn't it so um getting it around I, I popped a couple while i was doing this so yeah just be careful when you're wrapping your balloons around you see one just popped now <laughs> so i used another 260 to wrap that bit to cover that part that popped so now what i've started doing is i'm using the leaves from the tree and just wrapping the balloon around it i'm not using 260 anymore i'm just pulling the tree out and it's staying in place because already i've bulked up the base so everything should stay in place And this tree, the, the leaves is kind of like extended. It's quite long. I fluffed it out before I started doing the um, the tree. So it was easy for me to wrap, wrap it around. You see, it just stays in place without having to use 260Q. So that was what I did till I got to the top. I did not use 260Qs anymore. Because I didn't have to like do a lot of, I didn't have to like put a lot of balloons on the upper part anyway. So it, just three clusters will stay in place. So that's what I did all through. Same thing for the top. Then at the bottom, I just tied in the spare clusters to bulk up the bottom. So as you're adding your clusters, make sure you're not covering up all of the tree. You want that greenery to show, you know. So right now I'm just adding my five inches clusters, mini clusters. So the, the five inches, I did them in a cluster of five, some in five, some in three, some in fours. And I just put them mainly at the bottom. I didn't want it to be too much at the top because I still had stuff to put around the top area. And I knew I still had to add um, some gold balloons. So with the smaller balloons, I used some of the 260 cues, you know, to put them in place because um, it was kind of like difficult to pull out the leaves then again because I, I wanted the leaves to show. Um, so where I struggled, I just, what I did was I, I tied the 260 cue onto the leaf of the tree and then I now used the, uh, what's it called, the 260 cue to wrap the five inches clusters onto the whole display.
So guys, remember the main a uh, you, 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 you walking from the bottom to the top is the best way to go with this cuz then you would be able to get that tree shape. Do you understand? You don't want you know, you don't want it to be to not have that tree kind of shape if you get what I mean. So yeah, um I would advise that you walk from the bottom to the top. So just keep adding your five inches clusters to random spots. So in some sp spaces, I didn't even have to tie it in. I just had to push it in and it will stay in place. That's the plus side of having uh, uh, the tree inside instead of using all balloons. Now I add my gold balloons. Um, the gold ones I just inflated into random sizes and I placed them in spots I think would work. Another thing I want you guys to bear in mind is as I'm doing this, I'm not stepping back to see what I'm doing. I'm not able to like, I don't, I don't know what it looks like yet. I'm just working. So the good thing about it is when you create your own, you're going to be able to step back and look at what you're doing. Remember when we had our chats last week, I said to you guys, take your camera phone, look at what you've done, check where you have issues with, and you know, just... Uh, correct your mistakes basically initially what i wanted to do was to use silver instead of gold to finish this up um, but what happened was i um i realized i didn't have um silver christmas decoration and i wanted to add you know the bubbles and all of that onto the tree after i'd added the balloon so i just had to go for gold and i think i like the end result if i'd used silver too it would have been beautiful anyway and at first i was skeptical about the color combo i picked so next i'm going to add my star So for the star, I think I use, um, it's called Starburst or you could call it um, Star Points. The Qualitex brand one, I think it's called Star Points. And you just wrap it around. I used a cluster of 10, I think, for this. And I just wrapped it around and I tied a 260Q over it. So that, that would, you know, make it easy for me to tie onto the top of my tree. So tying on top of the tree, my tree, the top part just has leaves so what i just did was i just wrapped it into the stars um sorry into the cluster of starburst and it stayed in place at this point i because I, I, initially i thought eight was going to be enough so i inflated more i added more um you could decide to use the old pack because the pack comes with um 12 individual um star points in it so you could use six, if you could use 12, it just depends on you. And you just tie them together and wrap them round. And that's it. So I just put it on top of a tree and it stayed in place, no stress.
Next, I take my snow paint. I shake it. You need to shake it first. I got this off of um, eBay. I'm going to put the link in the description. Snow spray paint, yeah. And I just sprayed it randomly around my tree. I love the effect this gave the old, you know, it, it took it from zero to 100. And then next, I took um, another um, gold craft spray paint found that on ebay too and i just sprayed it you know randomly on spots just round all over just to give it that gold kind of hue if you get what i mean <laughs> So with the gold spray paint, you need to spray it closely because you don't want the spray paint to go everywhere in your space. So I just sprayed it, sprayed it closely to the thing. And then next I added in my flowers. So with the flowers, you can use as many as you want. Just tuck them in to the whole thing. You don't have to like um, cover the base of the flower. Oh, you could cover it with latex. Cover it with latex balloon. I just basically pushed mine in into the gaps I could see. Because my flowers has got really long stem, so that even made it more easier for me to push it in into the um, middle of the balloon. And when you push your flowers in, make sure you spread it out. You don't want it to just be too like bunched up. You want it to like look like parts, part of the whole thing. You don't want it looking like, oh, why are you there? So make sure you spread it out. Like when you push it in, then spread out the leaves. Thank you guys for joining me on another beautiful creativity moment i am so in love with the outcome of this balloon tree um i didn't think i was even going to do a balloon tree this year but when i saw the the lovely what people were doing on instagram i just had to have have a go and this is going to be my like my staple christmas tree now and next year i am going to make it bigger and more beautiful than this Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click the subscription button. Like this video. Share. And see you same time next week. Merry Christmas, guys. No, I'm still going to wish you Merry Christmas again next week. Bye, guys. See you. Bye. Like, to how are the baubles? And you can put it after. Cool. Can we paint around the flowers? No, you need to get dry first. Let this get dry because I put spray paint on snow. Oh, yeah. Can we keep it light around it, right? So how about those other lights? What are we going to use them for? I'm not actually sure.